You gotta be real quiet, okay? I got Tutu. Hi, Tutu. You ready to go see the doctor? So a little bit about her. She has a thyroid issue, and they ha she has, has to be on this medication. We're here for Tutu's curbside vet appointment. I don't think she's really excited about it. <laughs> Are you giddy? You hear some people? Are you gonna be a brave kitty? You gonna be brave? Yeah, until we get back home and she thinks her mind's against her and starts <laughs> fighting the other cat. No. She'll be okay. She's wise in her 10 years. She knows how this works. We just won't be able to go with her. Not this time. You pretty kitty? She just does not know what to think. Comes Tutu. Here we are. Alright. Hey, Alright, so we were able to get everything on her. Hi, dudes. Hi, Tutu. Hi. Did you go see the doctor? Did you see the doctor? Were you a good kitty? They said you were. They said you were sweet. Are you sweet? You wanna go home now? <laughs> She's like, take me back to my house, mom. You have me out here in this rain, this is crazy. <laughs> you wanna get out of your box? Or you wanna stay in there? Since they're doing curbside appointments, they just kind of brought this little um, cardboard box out for us to put Tutu in. But we have her blanket still in there. Hi. You wanna get out? Okay. You wanna see Tutu? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Traffic. You want a treat? Mm -hmm. You want a treat? No, no, geese. I'll give you some treats when you go home. You want a crunchy? You see some cars? You see all those cars buzzing by? What do you think of being outside? Whoa, It's a big, weird world, huh? The doctor said she looked great. Um, her weight was good, everything was good and they took her blood and they'll probably have the results tomorrow just to see if we need to adjust the um my, yeah the dosage so we'll find that out tomorrow and then she'll be good to go there's the little box it's a better view of what it looks like but look at the little saying it says cats are angels with whiskers i always call this one my little angel don't i it's going to be interesting to see how she reacts to Donut whenever we get back home because they've had a history of not getting along after one of them has been to a vet or just been out of the house for an extended period of time. I really don't understand it, but all I can gather is just that they smell different scents on each other. And I guess they, <laughs> I don't know what they think, but like, I don't know. It's, it's no. just going to take a few days, I think, for them to get reacclimated and for the, the smell of the vet to get off of Tutu. So we'll have plenty of treats and cuddles to try to get them over this. We already took Tutu back home from the vet. She's resting and chilling out for the rest of the night. She's doing well. She's doing all right. Um, we're going to go into Pet Supplies Plus to see if they have anything fun for Valentine's Day. All right. Want to hold mommy's hand too? No? Okay. What do you want to buy for Tutu and Donut? Should they get some treats? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. This always makes me so sad. I want to take you home. Hi, kitty kitty. What's your name? Uh. Tutu. Oh, her name is Blessing. Well, bless your little heart. Hi. Do you smell our kitties? Oh, hello. Mm. You like that kitty? Mm. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 
have plenty of treats, but I don't see anything specific to Valentine's Day. Except for this cute little bowl. Okay, is this a cat toy? This thing? Uh, I think that's more a dog thing. Fun stuff they have for dogs. Where's the cat treats? A little cappuccino cookie. So cute. home now and we had dinner and now Tim's giving Story her bath and I wanted to just show you what we got at the pet store and I have to say I'm a little disappointed in the options that they had for cats there which it's been this way for a long time but I don't know why like somebody doesn't come out with like more cat toys or more fun like cat treats like I showed you that whole bakery of the like the puppy dog cookies or like the cupcakes or whatever they were, why don't they have that for cats? Especially like nowadays, I feel like being a cat lady is trendy, even though I've been a cat lady since I was like 10 years old, but like there's so many people out there that wanna get stuff for their cats too, you know? I love puppies, I love dogs, don't get me wrong, but cat people want some cute stuff too. Anyways, here's our little baggie with our stuff, so I'll show you what we got. We found these. Blue Wilderness Chicken and Duck Recipe Treats. The vet said that Tutu had a little bit of uh, kitty tartar, so we got her these little dental treats. I'm sure she'll love. We got, this is pretty much the only Valentine specific treat that I could find there, but it is cute. It says tuna and pumpkin Valentine dinner and gravy. BFF. Best feline friend. Grain gluten carcinogen free. I think they're gonna love that. We'll give that to them on Valentine's Day. And I'll probably split this in half and give them, you know, each half of the can. And then Story picked out this little toy, little piece of cheese. I think it has catnip in it. And then lastly are these fun little, what are these called? I guess it's just like another gravy-based dinner. It looks like it's the same company as this little can here. What's the company? Maruva? Tuna and duck devour me dinner and gravy. I like that it's dolphin safe. And this one is tuna and turkey tickles. So they like the cute little flavors. And then this one is tuna and salmon sweet cheeks dinner and gravy. So that's, that's the little kitty haul we got today. I might give them some mm, tonight or tomorrow, but we'll save most of these for Valentine's Day. And I got these at Target. These are little treats, but they come in little squares and it kind of looks like little chocolate squares. So I thought that was pretty cute for Valentine's Day too. I totally forgot about this little house that I picked up a few weeks ago at Aldi's. This was five bucks. We're definitely gonna put this together this weekend for them.
think that's going to do it for our fur baby lovin's today, but thank you all for following along with us and going with us to Tutu's appointment. And then going shopping for some kitty cat Valentine's treats. Don't forget to show your kitty cats and your puppy dogs and all your little fur babies love on Valentine's Day because there are babies too and sometimes I like to say I like animals more than people. And it's half joking and half true because they're just... They're just so innocent that, I mean, you can't help but love them. I hope everybody has a good weekend. I hope everybody has a good Valentine's week. We love you all and thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you later this week.